In this video, we are going to learn how to use pivot table in Google Sheets. Pivot table is a tool that is used to reorganize, summarize and group your data in more meaningful way. The first requirement to create pivot table is obviously to have data. Here we have sample data that we are going to use to learn how to create or how to use pivot table in Google Sheets. So let's get started. In this sample data, we have serial number, invoice number, customer name, products that we have been sold to these customers, units that we have been sold, date of sale and sale value. To create pivot table from any table or data, simply we need to click anywhere in that table or data and then we need to go to insert tab. In insert tab, we can see here an option pivot table. We will simply click on this pivot table option and you will see an a window will appear create pivot table first thing that we need to check here is the data range we need to make sure the range is correct so if i can see here range is from a1 to g101 if i see my table or my data this is started from a1 cell and it is ending on g101 so that's mean the range that sheets has been selected that is correct next thing that i need to check is where I want to create the pivot table. Do I want to create pivot table in this active sheet that is existing sheet or I want to have a new sheet in which I want to create the pivot table. I will go for this first option new sheet. I will click on create. Once I click on create, immediately a new sheet will appear and I can see here different things. On the left side, I can see this highlighted area where I can create my pivot table and on the right side, I can see the fields that I can use to create pivot table here. First thing that I need to check here is suggestions. These suggested pivot tables are from the Google Sheets. These suggested pivot tables are based on the data that I have. So let's check this suggested pivot table. The first suggested pivot table is sum of quantity for each customer name. Let's say I will click on this. And you can see immediately here I have a pivot table in which I have list of the customers with the units or quantity I sold to each of these customers. Let's say I don't want this pivot table. I will uncheck it. Now let's see the second suggested pivot table sum of quantity sales for each customer. I will click on this and you will see on the left side I have list of the customers then quantity I sold to each of these customers and sales value for each of these customers let's say i also don't want this pivot table i will click on the third one to check what is this i will click on this pivot table and i will see this is list of the customers with total sales to each of these customers let's say i don't want any of these pivot tables i want to remove it i will simply click on clear all let's create our own customized pivot table if we look into this highlighted area, we can see on the left side we have rows, on the top we have columns and in between we have values. Let's say I want to bring here list of all the products that we have been sold. What I will do, I will simply go to the rows. I will click on add next to the rows. I will click on add and you can see these are all the fields that we have. If I want to add products under rows, I will simply click on product sold and you will see immediately here under rows, I have all the products that I have been sold. So that's mean I have got these are the products that I have been sold to my customers. Now let's say I want to know that how many units I have been sold for each of these products. What I will do, I will simply because here we need to bring the values, I will go to the values. I will click on add next to the values and here as I want to add under values the number of units I will simply go to the quantity. I will click on quantity and you will see here I have units or quantity for each of the products that I have been sold. Let's say I also want to know that what is the sale value for each of these products. Because here I want to add the sale values so that's mean I need to add here values. I will go to values again. Again, I will click on add next to the values and here I will simply select sales and we have here sales as well. Let's say I want to move sales before quantity. What I will do, I simply go back to the values and I will pick sales and I will drag before quantity and you can see now we have sales before the quantity. Now, let's say I don't want quantity anymore. I will simply remove quantity from here. 
and let's say I want to know that what is sale of each of these products to each of the customers. I will simply bring here customers. So that means under columns, I want to bring the customers. I will simply go to the columns. I will click on add next to the columns. And here I will select the customer name because I want to insert here customers, right? I will click on customer name and you can see immediately I have here all the customer names. Here I have product names and here I have sale of each of these products to each of these customers. Here I can also use the filter. Let's say I want to select these three products. I want to see only these three products. I don't want to see these other products. Because I want to filter, I will simply go to the filter. You can see here down we have filter. I will click on add next to the filters. I will what I want to filter. I want to filter product, right? I will select product sold and then I will click on the small arrow and I will click on clear all. As I want to show only these three products, I will check these three products i will go for okay and you can see here we have only these three products we can see sale of these three products total sale of these three products is this 11,600, 16,000, 618,700 and let's say we want to remove this filter now we can simply close it from here now let's say i also want to know that how much sale i have done to each of these customers every year because I don't need these products anymore, I will simply close products sold from here. I will remove from here and I will add here sale date. I can also drag and drop to add or remove any field. For example, as I want to add here sales date, I will simply pick from here sales date and I will drop under rows. And you will see here we have all the dates. As I said, I want to know how much sale I have done to each of these customers every year. I don't need sale by date. I want sale by year. I will simply right click on the dates. I will go to create pivot date group. I will simply click on year and you can see the date has been grouped in years. Now let's say here we have now sale by year. Let's say I also want to add here products. What I will do? I will simply select product sold. I will drop under sales date and here we go. Here we have in 2023 we have been sold all of these products this is total sale of each of these products similarly we have 2024 similarly we have 2025 now let's say we want to analyze sales of 2025 only we don't want sale of 2023 2024 because this is the old data we want to analyze the latest data that is 2025 so what we will do we will add here filter again we will go to the filter we will click on add next to the filters and what we want to insert filter for we want to insert filter for 2025 so that is date we will click on sales date then we will click on this arrow we will simply go to clear here we will insert 2025 we will you can see after we insert here 2025 these are all the dates of 2025 these are 43 results we will select all we will go for ok and you can see here we have sales of 2025 only we can easily analyze sales of 2025 that means we can see that which products we have been sold in 2025 what is total sale of these products what is the best selling product how much we have been sold to each of these customers in case you want to change the data range for example as you know we have used this data or this data range to create the pivot table but in case let's say we have here one more new column how we can add that column in our pivot table for that we simply need to go on top of this window we can see here this data we can simply click on this icon and from here we can update our data range in case let's say we want to delete our pivot table and we want to create from scratch what we can do we can simply go on clear all and it will delete our pivot table and we have chance now to create our pivot table from scratch so friends that's all for today if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to share this video with your friends also don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching see you next video bye bye